Welcome to this 30 minute integrated strength workout. Make sure you have a set of light weights handy, as well as a block or meditation cushion to sit up on at the end of class. We'll start in standing. Taking your hand to your heart and your other hand down to your belly. Gently closing the eyes and taking a deep inhalation, deep into your center. Exhaling with an audible sigh as you sink your energy down deeper through your roots into the earth. Two more breaths like that. Deep breath in, pulling all of your attention into this body and into this moment. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Sink your energy down deep. Resting here as you remind your nervous system, your heart, and your brain that you are safe here in this moment now. Relaxing energy down out of the mind towards the back of your body and then sinking even deeper to feel totally supported and held here by the earth. And feeling into the subtle senses, all the hairs on your body, feeling the space around you like an animal would, like a cat would. Even though she's not looking, she could sense the space around her. And because she does, she feels safer. So calling on this level of safety and embodiment. And the remembrance that right here, right now, we are okay. We are well. And we have the great gift of getting to be in this body. So let's celebrate it a little bit here, starting to sway, maybe a little figure eight through those hips. Mm. Bringing a little bit more pleasure and relaxation into this temple, into this body, into this sanctuary space within us. Tuning into how the neck and shoulders are feeling. How are your hips feeling? And what feels good in your body? (sighs) Don't worry about what any of these movements look like. Just tune into how they feel. Slowly starting to open ourselves up. (sighs) Maybe moving into some half sun salutations that are all yours. (sighs) Exploring the body, meeting the body. Calling on all of our light and all of our presence to be here with us in this moment. Feel your light at your center. Feel it radiating through every pore of your skin. Embodying your light fully.
Let's get a couple of squats here. Down and up, nice and slow. Inhale down, exhale up, really get into those glutes. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the pelvic floor, engage through the core. You can even close your eyes, tuning in to really feel and activate the muscles that you're working here, building that mind-body connection to this strongest place in our body, our hips, our core, our pelvic floor. One more right here. Arms sweep up, one foot crosses behind, Give a little tug on that wrist, getting a nice deep side stretch. <sighs> right into the other side. <sighs> Relax the arms and let's grab those weights. Feet are a little bit wide and just slightly toes externally rotated. We have an overhand grip. We're coming right down into a wide leg squat. And then we're gonna just snatch it right to here. 90 degree bend at that elbow. Squeeze behind the shoulder blades. Squeeze those glutes. Inhale down. Exhale up, really strong. And radiating that heart, infusing our space with love. The more we tune into the wisdom of our heart, our intuition, our deeper and our knowing, the louder that communication, the more clear that communication starts to get. We start to trust ourselves in our path. Four, three, two, good. We're gonna cross one leg behind. Okay, so we're doing a squat on this side, pressing up to overhead press. Again, same side, hands come down, hammer curl, press. Good, inhale down, knee stays behind the toe. Exhale up, With all your power. Get into that oblique side body. For three, two, last one right here. Hold that arm up. We're going right into a tricep overhead extension. Good. Less than halfway down. For eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hands come right down in front of the heart. We're going to twist, twist, cross, twist, twist, cross. Get into that core. Big rotation through that upper body. Exhale as you twist. For five, four, three, two. Good. Pause it here right into the curtsy lunge on the other side. Step it back. You got the squat on one side, press on the same side. Inhale down, exhale, press. Good, come from your hips, your glutes, your core. Yeah. We are so conditioned by our culture, by our society, 
to just obsess about our flaws and compare ourselves to others. So if there's a place in your life that you've been criticizing yourself and suffering, hiding out maybe, blocking what you really want and need, let's just tune into that and just imagine calling on all of our love to just bless and wash away the fear around not enoughness. Last one, we're going to hold it up in this next one. Good, hold it here, squeeze your glutes. And then extend that elbow. Yes, super strong glutes right here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, right back down. We're gonna come twist, twist, cross, twist, twist, cross. Yes. Work hard right here. Keep it in your core. Love can heal anything, right? No matter the wound, the deficiency. Doesn't matter. Love is the answer. Showing up unconditionally loving. As we sift through all these old programs and decide what's really true and what truths are we bringing into our future, right? Which, which ones are we allowing? Which seeds are we allowing to plant in this sacred space of our minds, right? It's like a garden. We got to pull out the weeds, decide what we're going to plant for three, two. Good. Pause it here. We're coming right down into a squat and up into an overhead press, hips back. Use your exhale on the way up. Exhale as you exert. For five, four, three, two, and one. Pause it here, bend and extend those elbows. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Hinge it forward. Grab that beach ball. We're coming right into a back fly. Get that contraction down your back, behind those shoulder blades, and into the lats. Yes. Enjoying that pump really present in your body right here. Feel which muscles are working. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming right back to that overhand grip. Wide leg squat. Down, snatch to 90. Squeeze that back body. Good, it's a little bit of a swing. Inhale down, exhale, fire those glutes. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it right here. We're going to serve, then curl. Serve, then curl. That's it. Good. Feel those nice, strong, stable glutes. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two. Hinge it forward, grab that beach ball, back fly. Nice long spine. Control it. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, 
Yes, bicep curl to serve. Woo! Good, feel all your power, all of your presence. Really rooted, harness some perseverance from the earth. Six, five, four, three, two. Right back to that squat, overhand grip, up to 90. So good. Good, finish it out strong. Squeeze those glutes more than you need to. Last one, squeeze it. Stand tall. So good. All right, we're coming down. Okay, we got hands overhead. We got a glute bridge position. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, lift those glutes. You decide how much work you're doing, okay? So get into those glutes. Let's take those legs up to tabletop. Right here, we got a chest fly and a slow bicycle. One leg kicks down. Low back is connected. Core is strong. Last one right here, we're going into a double crunch. Find that V and then pull those knees in. See if we can rock and roll it all the way up here to seated. We're gonna kick those legs and pull them in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You got it. Two, one. Roll it all the way down, nice and slow if you can. Arms reach up, back to that glute bridge. Inhale overhead. Exhale, lift those glutes. So good, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep working those glutes. Feel your pelvic floor at the top. Scoop the innermost layer of your core, your transverse abdominis. Scoop it in towards your spine. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two. Good, hips come down, knees come up into tabletop. We got a chest fly and a slow bicycle. Every motion that we make coming from our deep connection to our own center and our own core. Practicing being directed by our deep center in a world full of chaos and confusion, conflicting truths. It is ever more important that we are connected to ours, our truth, our center, our clarity for five, four, three, two. Setting up with that double crunch right here. Inhale, find your V. Exhale, pull those knees in. Navel draws to spine. For four, three, two, pause it here. We're gonna rock and roll, pump those legs a little if you have to. Rock and roll it up, pause it here. Kick and pull, kick and pull, yes. Ride that burn for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Feet come down, we're gonna overhead press, just as small for nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice and slow, rolling it back. Slow, 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 slow. <sighs> Let those weights go. Hug your knees into the chest. Let's take the hands to the top of the kneecaps. Just rock those knees forward and back. Good, taking a little happy baby pose here. Rocking left to right. Pausing in the center, dropping a little deeper into that stretch. A <sighs> big down regulating exhale. Nice wide feet. A little windshield wiper through those knees. Good. Hug the knees in. Grab the backs of the thighs. We're going to rock and roll it up. Crisscross applesauce. Forward fold. to what is, to all of the alignment and all of the contrast, all of the ebbs and flows, the yeses and the noes, just relaxing a little deeper into trust, trust in ourselves in the universe to guide us when we are truly aligned at our center. Let's roll it up and find our seated meditation. Take a little tricep stretch here. The easiest way to derail ourselves 
is to get stuck in what we aren't doing right, right? What, what are our perceived flaws? We get hung up on these and we compare ourselves to other people. <clears throat> and we don't just trust. Like if something's a no, if a door closes, a relationship ends, if the universe redirects us, like, can we trust that rather than judge it and save ourselves a whole lot of suffering? Let's gently close the eyes and lengthen the spine. Feel your roots down deep. Feeling yourself as one with nature. This cyclical flow of seasons that we see in nature. Right? And she just allows the change from season to season without resistance. We can learn from this. What transition or cycle might we be pushing up and resisting against? Can we just relax into it, allow it, trust it? Breathe this trust, this surrender up into the belly, up into the heart, up into the throat, up into the brain, to the crown. And then reaching the awareness up. We're feeling our own direct connection to Creator Source. And the light and love that births and sustains this whole creation. We're feeling our oneness with this energy. and breathing this energy down through the crown to bless and soothe and remind every part of us, especially the scared parts. We are guided. We are supported. We are held. holding with compassion. Any place that still might feel scared and gripping, meeting it with so much compassion. Let's take our hands to the karate chop edge of our hands. Even though there's part of me that's still scared, I deeply and completely love and trust myself. Even though I'm scared, I love myself through the contractions. I let myself be at peace. To the crown of my head. I am one with source energy. I receive all that I need to thrive. Inside of the eyebrow, I am attuned with my body, heart, and soul. and I receive what I need to thrive. Outside of the eye, I am aware of what my yes feels like in my body. Under the eye, I am aware of what my no feels like in my body. Under the nose, 
I love myself through every contraction. Down to the chin. I am worthy of unconditional love and acceptance. Down to the chest. I am my own true beloved. When I rejoice in nurturing this relationship that I get to have with myself. Underneath the armpits. I am a sacred, holy being and my self-care is sacred. Relax the palms face up on your lap. Just taking another moment to tune into your heart, to what you need, to what you desire. knowing that you are worthy of every need and desire met. Feeling all your lines of receptivity, all your avenues of nourishment and nutrients just open to receive. Flooding your entire being with love, light, clarity, encouragement. Everything that you need for the journey ahead, here, now. (laughs) 